I am currently the number two person in the meat department, and I've been in that capacity for the last 12 years. I started when I was 19 at my local Kroger. My mother's always told us to make sure we take care of our community. I've been there for 44 years. I'm a single mother of six, a grandmother of five, and I have been working in housekeeping for over 16 years. I had a full range of emotions, some of them being fear. I was fearful, am I gonna contract this virus? Initially, you can see the fear in people's eyes. You see a customer that you know every day and now you see them, they got a mask on, they got gloves on. I choose to keep my family safe, so I have not seen them in person since COVID began. I come out to my car to eat on my breaks, which also leads to a feeling of isolation. Being a housekeeping, you'll never know what a patient has. So it's scary. To see people dying, that's see people I went to school with and grew up with, and they'll come in and just like that, they're gone. We are risking our lives. I have asthma, and I just got over pneumonia in February, but I take that chance to go out here to work because I know we have to survive. I see 300 people a day. I'm grateful for my health care that the union fought for. We know we're not immune to it, and we're constantly exposed. But if I was that person with COVID, I would hope that somebody would take care of me like I'm taking care of them. I have learned now not to get as close to patients, but right now I have no choice because they have no visitors. Mostly grocery workers, such as myself. A vast majority of them are, are black and brown, and those are the people that are really being affected by this coronavirus. Everything is expensive here. Sometimes you, 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 you take home pay won't take you home, you know what I mean? Watching my associates have to deal with people at the door act in a hostile manner when being asked to put on a mask for less than $15 an hour. These are people who work very, very, very hard and get very, very, very little. We no longer get hazardous pay and this hazard is still out here and so you feel like a slap in the face. There are people who are working here that are checking out people's food who are buying their own food with food stamps. The techs and the EDS workers and respiratory therapist. Their job is just as important as any doctor or any nurse, but you're not getting the respect and the compensations that you should. I want to see workers like myself get paid more than minimal wage, to be honest with you, to have money saved in my bank account. I feel like the world has got a glimpse of how hard things are for people who our front line. People who have sucked up their fear every single day and marched to that door, not knowing whether today would be the day they catch it, deserve recompense for that. You're doing important work. They need to be compensated for that. You know what I mean? They need a good health care plan. They need paid vacation. That's what I think a, a good job entails. We need to make sure that we're taking care of those that serve us every day.